So tell me what your question is. My question is, what's the difference between LD, LEA, and LDR? So what is the difference between LD, LEA, and LDR? So they're all, they're, as the name suggests, they're all some sort of load operation, right? Uh, we saw LD. LD is, is what LD is doing is essentially if I have an instruction somewhere, an LD instruction, it allows me to modify a register. So if I say I want LD R1, it will allow me to get into register R1, the contents of a memory location that are somewhere in the vicinity of this instruction. So this instruction let's say is at 3001, it happens to be at 3001 and let's say there is data somewhere in its vicinity. I'm saying vicinity because it's probably at 300A let's say, there's some data. And I want to get this into, my goal is to take this guy and get it in here. So I say, how do I get it into that? I can use a load operation to get it. But in order to get it, ask it the right information. So LD says that the format of LD is, it takes where you want to put it and where is it relative to where I am. So I'm here, which means a PC. Mm -hmm. This PC is at, so when I'm executing this instruction, the PC has a value of X3002, right? Yes. Because you remember the next, the next one. So if, if PC is at 3002, what should I add to this so that I get the address where I want to reach out and grab the number I want? And that happens to be 8. So I'm saying I'm going to put an 8 here. So that allows me to load something into a register, right? Yes. Now, the, you can do the same thing, same LD, but by a combination of these two. So you might ask yourself, why? If you can do what with one instruction, why are you doing something with two instructions? But the payoff is, if you're going to do more after that, Okay, so let's see let's see how I can accomplish the same same thing but by by using an, a combination of LEA and LDR. So what does what does LEA do? So I'm gonna take the same situation. So I'm gonna clear this guy for now. I'm gonna take the same situation except now at X3001 and at X, this is my 3000 A. Again, I want to grab the contents of whatever is here into my register R1. Right? That's what I want to do. But I'm going to do it in a different way, which is I'm going to use a combination of two instructions. And let's see what these two instructions are. So it's I'm going to put an LEA here, which acts almost like the other one, but my goal is to not modify register R1 yet. I'm going to get into register R0, the address 300A into register R0. So let me show you what I'm going to do. So LE in R0, I'm going to just get this address, which means I'll take the PC and if I add 8 to the PC, what will I get? 300A. But I don't go and grab the contents of that location. I say, don't give me the contents of that location. Give me the address itself and put into R0. So if I put an 8 here now, when I finish this instruction, R0 will get X0A. It hasn't, it hasn't gotten the value yet. It, it, it didn't get the contents, it just got the address. address right? So my first step then is LEA R0 8. Now, now that I have I have a location I can address that I have in a register, I'm gonna grab what is in that address. Because the thing with LD is it uses PC as the reference, right? 
Because what did I do? What did LEA really do? LEA took the, it put into R0 the value of PC plus offset. And to, to kind of contrast this, what did LD do when it said LD R1 comma offset? It said R1 gets the the memory contents of PC plus offset. Both went to the went through the same process. They computed a PC plus offset, but one guy, this guy, reached out and grabbed the contents of that location, but this guy just got the address and came back. Yeah? So so now that I have the address, what what can I do with it? Well, what I'm gonna do next is at 3002, I'm gonna put another instruction. This is an LDR instruction. So what LDR lets me do is it says, don't be burdened by the PC. Don't be burdened by where you are. You can use what you have with you, a register, as the base. Don't use PC as the base, but use a register as the base. And which register do I want to use as the base? R0, because R0 as a base with an offset of zero is exactly the number I want. So I'm gonna say, now put into R1, take R0 as the base because LDR now requires, because PC is implicit with these other guys, right? But this guy doesn't have an implicit register. You have to explicitly specify what the register is. So you say register R0 and now you can just give an offset of 0 because he already has 3000A. You just have to add a 0 to it and you get that now. So when we put an LDR, we put it in the order of um, the destination, the destination base offset, right? So LDR's format is always the destination register, a base register, and an offset. And what it's what is it really doing? It's taking the base register adding the offset to it, going to the memory location that that results in and puts it into the destination. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So yeah. so now you, you tell me why would I bother doing two instructions to accomplish a task Which could have been a comp which could have been done simply by one instruction. So these two instructions together are the same as for us. I could have just put L B R one with then, a yeah, really, eight. You don't have to wait for the PC to catch up to that register. I mean you don't have to go through all those steps. Uh, no, so so which is simpler? Tell me, is this simpler or this simpler? Well, uh, the LD is LD is simpler. So why am I burdening myself with a with a process where I'm not only not only is this wasteful because I'm taking two steps, but it's also wasteful of this register R not. I've just messed up a register R not in the process. So why is this, why am I doing this, or what is the benefit of doing that? And the benefit is this: if for some reason I'm going to go and access things in its vicinity if there's something here or here then i don't have to do an other ld and worry about getting the offsets right yeah i have i have my my base and i can go one step up one step in fact this offset can even be a negative number oh because it's two it, it's a two's complement sign number so it can even be a negative so i can go up go down I can access things in its vicinity and that's the benefit. So it's, it is the, you do more work in the beginning, but the payoff is later. That is the advantage. Yeah. So it doesn't mean that you use, always use LDA plus LDR. There are situations where there's nothing in the vicinity that I'm of, that has any consequence to me. So I'm just going to use an LDA. 